Hold up. Hello guys, Charles and Father Two Spotter here, and today I'm going to be playing Cardboard's Ice Age. And today we'll be hunting the most common animal <coughs> that everyone knows about the Ice Age. The mammoth. The woolly mammoth. Last week we shot the, on New Year's Day, we shot the um, Smilodon. Now I've got to shoot the Woolly Mammoth. Now I won't be using my pistol, I'm going to be using my revolver. And we're going to tranquilize the animal as always. We've got the SJW vegans out there. And let's go hunt. Right. Now, I'm not going to teleport because... Um, I want to tell you guys my thoughts of 2022. I I am very surprised that um, 2022 is over. I am so surprised. Oh, there's a mammoth. I am so surprised that it's over. So I want to go through. There we go. Shot it. Um, I am so surprised that it's over. So what I'm going to do, I want to go through the pros and cons of what I thought about 2022. Now, let's start with the pros, as always. It's good to say the pros of 2022. Now, what do I think of 2022 so far? Let's start with January of this year. January, mm, it's, a, it's, it's January was nothing to me. Like Every year, every year, January is nothing. It means nothing to me. Like the start of the of the year of 2022 was nothing. February 2022. Um. January 2022 was kind of sad for me because um. Kind of sad for me because I don't. I don't know. It's it's it's, it's, it's just sad. It's just, it's the same as January. Nothing really. Nothing's happened. March of two thousand twenty-two was 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 good. You know, I, I like March of two thousand twenty-two because of um you know the you know the, the 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 Disney Pixar movie Turning Red came out. It's really really it's a really good film. I like that film. Um. Yeah, Pixar's done a great job of making that film. They've done a wicked job. And I want to say well done. Give them a round of applause to Disney and Pixar for creating that movie. There's another mammoth. I want to say well done for them creating that movie. And they've made the Red Panda so freaking cute. The Red Panda, when she turns into a Red Panda, she's so cute. It's this is so cuddly. I want to when I first when I first um saw that film, I I, I don't I don't even didn't even know it's a red panda. I thought it was like a cat or something. I mean, she does look like a cat. I mean, she looks like a really massive ginger cat. But no, she's a red panda. But she looks so she looks so cute though. I want to keep her as a pet, but obviously she's eight feet tall. She's massive. Uh, she won't even fit into my bedroom. She, won't, she can't even enter my bedroom door. Why is there a pig on the mountain? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Turning Red was good. It's a good film. I like that film. I watched it like 50 times in a row. Um, no, I'm not going to risk it. I'll fall down. Um, also, also, March of 2022 was also a pretty... pretty um, it's not really a... Well, I don't know how to say this. Um, I'm going to get down from the mountain because I want to go over there. It's not... Kind of a nervous year because at work, I dealt with... I haven't even told you guys this. But I think you might have seen it on my face. If you followed me on Facebook, you might have seen it. But... An incident happened. Hello. Sorry, it's my cat. I'm not sure if you heard the meowing. Um, is that a wild boar? 
Yeah, um, at work, um, someone tried to commit suicide on the railway line, on the railway track, um, and I tried to press the um, emergency stop, but the other passengers actually saved, actually took her, actually um, took her off the off the track. I don't want to get into. I don't want to talk too much about it because I still, it's still, I still get flashbacks from it. Um, but yeah, luckily the woman's okay. But yeah. And we all know what happened on the 28th of March, 2022. We all know what happened at the Oscars. Will Smith um, slapped the living shit out of um, Chris Rock. Because Chris Rock made a joke about his about his wife and stuff. So that's uh, another mammoth. We'll just shoot as I go. Um, yeah, Chris Rock, um, Chris Rock got slapped by Will Smith. Uh, you know, and Will Smith said... Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth and stuff. I, I, to be honest, Will. One thing I don't really understand: Will Smith was laughing at the joke. Will Smith was laughing at the joke, like, really, Will? Like, laughing at the joke, and then you freaking oh, shit. Laughing at the. He was laughing at the joke, and then oh, ninety meters. Um. He was laughing at the joke. Uh, I'm not going to teleport. I want to carry on as I'm not fine. I'll teleport. Um, he was laughing at the joke. But then he got up on stage and, started, and he slapped the living Jesus out of Chris Rock. Like, it was just a joke, man. Like, violence is wrong. Don't be violent. Don't, don't be violent, kids. Like, I, I could take jokes sometimes. But sometimes I can't even take a joke. Like, some of the jokes are very offensive. But if I if I get offended in a, if I get offended in a joke, I'm not gonna get up on stage and slap a person. No, that's violent. I I, I'm not violent. I'm not a violent guy. I don't want to slap someone just because I can't take a joke. You know what I mean? Ah, ran out of ammo. But I, I, I can't take a like. You know what I mean? Like, don't slap. And he got banned from the Oscars for like 10 years, Bull Smith. Oh, wow. Anyways, moving on. April of 2022 was decent. I had a great birthday. Turned 21 on that on that on that day, 4th of April 2022. Also, um, Easter was good. 90 meters again. Easter was good. Um, yeah, got good gifts and that. Also, what's that pig? Duh. Also, um, May of 2022 was the best time ever. May of 2022 was the best time ever. Why is the best time ever? Because the Elizabeth line opened. 25th of May 2022 was the day when the Elizabeth line, also known as Crossrail, finally opened. That's the section between Abbey Wood and Paddington. Best time ever. Oh my god, I loved that. I loved that moment. The Elizabeth line opening. That day was awesome. Um, what else happened in May? Yeah, that's all I know. Elizabeth Line. Oh my god! Diatrema. There we go. That just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Bloody hell, where did you come from? You're not even on there, so. Ugh. Anyways. Combo license of diatrema, 19.6 meters. Yeah, um, June of 2022. Um, that was nothing to me again. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing happened in June. Nothing excited happened in June. July of 2022. Um, was the most hottest. 
well, it's the worst, really, because of the heat wave here in the UK. Uh, we, it reached um, 40 degrees Celsius. Oh, my goodness. 40 degrees Celsius. Luckily, I survived it, but that's, that's dangerous because heat stroke. Come on, power outages. 40 degrees Celsius. Give me a break. There was one good thing about of July of 2022. Um, Barking Riverside Station opened on the London Overground. And I'm so shocked that it's actually very close to Dagnum Sunday Market. And that closed in 2020 due to due to corona due to the stupid coronavirus. So they closed it down. If it's still open today, we could just take I could just take the train there every Sunday. You know what I mean? And it's Sunday right now, so yeah. I hear eating. There's one in my Ah! Oh no. Let's get it away. There. Done. Um, August of 2022. Um, we, there's a good... We have some good moments. Uh, we had a family gathering. My whole family had a family gathering, which is nice. Everyone in my family. And there's some of the people... There are some members of my family I haven't seen in a long time. I haven't seen people in my family for a long time. Like, I haven't seen my cousins, my uncles, and my that for, for a while. I haven't seen them for a while. The last time they saw me is when I was a little baby. I actually forgot who they are because I haven't seen them for a while. Yeah, family gathering was good. September of 2022. Um, it was a very, very devastating moment. Because, um... Wow! That's far. 138 metres. That is very, very far. Um... Yeah, we all know what happened on the 8th of September, 2022. Um, Queen Elizabeth II passed away. She was 96 years old. She ruled the, she ruled the country for... 70 years, 70 years, 70 years, and in 1953, and this year would have marked her, um, her 70th year coronation, and yeah, I, I, I miss, we miss them, we, we're gonna miss Queen Elizabeth II, And also her son, um, King Charles III, is now ruling this country. Has took the throne now. So it's nice to have um, her son taken over. Plus, he's, he's 73. I mean, he waited. I can't believe I got him. <laughs> um, I can't, yeah. It's nice to have, um, like, he's 73. Like, he wanted to be king for a while. They said, they said King Charles. He wanted to be Charles wanted to be king for a while. Like, he didn't want to be um, Prince of Wales. He didn't want to be the Prince of Wales. He wanted to be the king. So he said the only way to be king is wait till his mum dies. Well, it's not really nice, but that's the only way that is that's the only way he'll become king. I don't think he'll. I don't think the queen will resign. I'm not sure, but ah, oh, run out of ammo. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to restart. It's okay, I don't really care. I'm going to restart this. Anyways, there we go. <coughs> Carry on doing this. Right, um... Yeah, he wanted to be king. So... Um... October... of 2022. It was a great Halloween... Halloween was good. Had a great time. Dressed up as Indiana Jones again, which is really nice. November 2022 was, um, what's the same as October? Decent. And December of 2022 was, I had a great Christmas. Good Christmas. Great Christmas. It was a good good Christmas. I had a great Christmas, which is nice. 
Got a nice presence and that. Got a didgeridoo, didgeridoo stand, smellies, money, and all, and all that good stuff. Christmas, had Christmas, di oh, <laughs> someone likes my, um, thing, but, yeah. Yeah, um. Yeah, yeah, Christmas dinner was good, turkey was nice, had a nice, nice turkey, Christmas turkey was nice, yeah, Every, Christmas dinner is always, what makes Christmas dinner, what makes Christmas a great Christmas is Christmas dinner, like, who doesn't like Christmas dinner, come on, yeah, yeah, that was all good, oh, all good, oh, oh, one, more, one thing I forgot to mention about 2022, um, Ukraine, 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 Ukraine. Yes, Russia invaded um Ukraine back in February of 2022. Oh my God, because Vladimir Putin's a fucking cunt. Like, like why invade that country? Like, leave them alone. Like, seriously. And refugees are coming to, they came to Britain and they came to all the different countries. Like, some of them even tried to cross the Channel Tunnel. Like, like, don't do that. But they had to leave because Putin invaded the fucking country. Like, like, leave him alone, Putin. I don't like Vladimir Putin. He's a fucking, he's a homo, he's a fucking homophobe. He's a homophobic cunt. Uh, uh, he's, 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 he's greedy. I just don't like Putin. Screw Putin. That's what, that's what makes Russia a bad place. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I like Russia. I like um, the Russian cities. I like the Russian landscapes and stuff, the wildlife. But I just don't like their president. Oh, wow. 140.6 metres. That's wow, that's pretty far. That's the furthest I've done. Yeah, screw Putin. I'm in a song for Ukraine. Also, a good thing about um, 2022, Boris Johnson resigned and stepped down as prime as prime minister. Thank fuck for that. I'm so happy that Bojo is no longer prime minister. Cause, cause he's a, he's a lying git. He's a lying git. He's such a liar. Like he told everyone to stay at home, but he for a freaking lockdown. You threw a party during lockdown. Like, what the fuck, Boris? I made a, I made a video about that on my channel. <laughs> Me talking about Bojo's story. Like, he's a lying git. Also, Liz Trust um, became Prime Minister. Not for long. She didn't, she, she didn't stay Prime Minister for long. But um, she resigned because she... She's... Got too much stress, too much stress. There were too much stress in that. Because the Chancellor was not working hard enough. Quasi Quateng. He wasn't working hard enough, so she sacked him. She sacked him and um And then she gate and then she stepped down as um she stepped down as um Prime Minister because well, she didn't step down. She actually quit her job. She quit her job as Prime Minister. And then... Um, Rishi Sunak... Um, became the next Prime Minister. I don't mind Rishi. I don't mind Rishi. I don't really mind him. But... I don't mind Rishi Sunak. He was a good Chancellor. He was a good Chancellor. But... In my opinion, though. In my opinion. But... Oh. Oh, no. 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 Oh, oh no! Maybe that's what I get for saying I like Rishi Sunak as Chancellor. <laughs> that member probably hates me. <laughs> oh no, but I do know some people that actually hate Rishi Sunak as Chancellor when he was Chancellor. But maybe that's what I get. 
let's not start a controversy here. Let's let's move on from politics. But um, yeah, right. I've hunted down five mammoths and what? Oh my god, twenty minutes. That's that's long. I'm gonna wrap this video up. I don't I don't want to make this gaming video so long. But anyways, um, Millie. So it's my cat. Anyways, guys, um, that's the end of this video. That's my review of 2022. 2023 will be a good year. I'm really tired. <laughs> I just woke up very, I woke up very, very late. Um, next week we'll be shooting down the Titanus. Too late now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time and goodbye.